Let's see, re-including other anime games, because then he has an unusual attraction to duct tape fashion. Oh, absolutely! Like, no, canonically, Captain Anime is the same character in every single game that we've played so far. And, like, any time I've named a character Captain Anime, it's the same guy. He's, like, some weird freakish changeling, but it's the same dude. So far, I think I've only named my characters Captain Anime in the, all of the EDF games. God Eater and... Anything else that I can think of? This mission is to defend the target. This is not the mission I thought I was doing. Oh no! Not again! Blast leader. Aggressors confirmed in the area up ahead. But they're small in number. Okay, screw this. We're gonna do a different one. Xenoblade Chronicles X. That was actually, uh... Ca that was Captain Blueberry Robo. I don't think so. Now, if we get a Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that's when we can bring it in. Because, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X was was pre-Captain Anime, Captain Anime. Like, that is, that is the pre predecessor. Yeah. I would say Captain Blueberry Robo was a... Was like an ancestor or something. Uh, let's see. So we wanna we wanna missile launcher. I've like gone past it twice now. There we go. Uh, it's, do we just want this one? Because the encore would be nice, but it's a little expensive for me. Captain collateral collateral damage. That's Whoa, like his. That, that's Captain Anime. Captain collateral damage is literally just Captain Anime when he's having a bad day. See, have you tried the close quarters laser missile things yet? Haven't seen that in the field. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't bothered with them just because they seem very niche. But no, Captain Collateral Damage is like Nightwing and Robin. They're kind of the same guy, it's just like different stages of their life and or anger. Or maybe, maybe not that. I don't know. Well, yeah, sort of. So he switches back and forth between them, because Night Nightwing doesn't really go back to being Robin ever. I gotta think more about this. I mean, he's a complex, not complex character. He's got, like, no emotional depth whatsoever. All of his character development is entirely external. This mission is to defend the target. Team A's, to proceed, gentlemen! Squall leader to blast leader. Aggressors confirmed in the area up ahead. But they're small in number. Roger that, squall leader. We'll take it from here. When we get back to camp, let's get a drink. Like old times. Roger. I've been saving a bottle. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So supposedly there's a crane around here. Have you known squall leader long? Who, me? Oh yeah. Same year. We met at Rim Pack. I guess 20 years back. We just clicked. Wow. So you've been friends since even before the EDS. Why don't you try coming down here? Where's the crane? Supposedly there's a crane somewhere around here that I can destroy. Okay, I should probably look this up before things get too hectic. This is mission 32. Crane near the hole in the exterior wall. The drone will drop to the ground. Okay, the one fear is I might not be able to destroy it. The protected target's gonna be wiped out. Oh, smidge. Alright, so let's end mission. It's all the way up there. It's yeah. I can't I can't get there. Which means I should probably switch to a different weapon. Me. Flying on this might be a bit of a pain. We'll see. Uh ha, da, da, da. Uh, let's see. Equipment, PA gear. So we've got to be a jet lifter. I could maybe prowl rider it, but it would be tough to get up there. Got the launcher. I've got the Catalonia, but Yo, let's let's switch away from the Catalonia. This one works so much better when I'm playing one of my beefier characters. Uh, it's okay, we have a lot of new assault rifles. They just seem so bad. Like, this one seems kind of alright.
like in comparison, like EDF5 had some really rad uh, shotguns and had some really rad shotguns and uh, assault rifles. Let's so here. Who else do I have some of these? Gauss rifle. I, at some point, I'm gonna have buttloads of money and I can just go like nuts. Let's see, do we want the Ab Abigail? Probably, I don't think we want the five-way firing. That's 150, that's 140. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Elizabeth here. Should work, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's see, would the homing phase shot work against the flyer? Yes, so the problem is I don't know how fast it is and it's also a 30 second recharge speed, which is rough. If it was against, like, a small handful of flyers, it would work great. Uh... But the the problem is there's so many little flyers that it would be honestly just pure overkill. And so I'd rather use something else. Hey, thank you, Ravicane, for the 100 bits. Hello, how's it going? So Captain Anime is some kind of strange, silent, but charismatic sociopath. Yes. I... I don't think he's allowed to speak. He can, maybe. This mission is to defend the target. But like, I, I think he has Squad a vow of silence leader. for reasons. Aggressors confirmed in the area up ahead, but they're small in number. Roger that, squall leader. We'll take it from here. When we get back to camp, let's get a drink, like old times. Roger. I've been saving a bottle. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Your energy core will lock down if you leave the area. Return immediately! Have you known Squall Leader long? Who, me? Oh, yeah. Same year. We met at Rimpack. I guess 20 years back. We just clicked. Wow. So you've been friends since even before the EDF. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna fly here for now. Because, yeah, these rockets will take care of the little guys. The main problem is the crawlers. The crawlers are a bit of an issue. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. Did they Deadpool them? Like, so... Oh. You mean the, uh... Dead, Deadpool... OG Deadpool. No, I don't think they OG Deadpooled him. I think just, like... I think he just... So, because he is Captain Anime, he probably is actually insufferable. Like, he will not shut up about... Oh god, what's an anime? I mean, he's got taste, but it's like, he will not shut up about... Well, he reveres One Punch Man, so there's that. Okay, I gotta not do this. Okay, that actually does a buttload of damage to them. That's part of the reason why I picked it. Now they didn't sew his mouth shut, because that would be that would be weird. It he's he's just not allowed to talk because he is weird, not because. I don't know. I'll have to think about why he doesn't speak. I'd I'd say it's like monk-like, or maybe it's kind of one of those where it's like some misguided idea that he will. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's kind of like the, uh... Defend that protected target. Damn it. Holy Target's shit. Target. One of these guys was murdering it. I kind of hate these things. I kind of hate these missions. Because, yeah, somehow they just ended up doing, like, buttloads of damage to this. Yeah, so, it's not that he's, like, super into Madoka, or anything, like, weirdly creepy. I mean, honestly, we could pull off of my, uh... My pre anime preferences. Uh... With some of the, like, semi-more obscure ones. Nah, he's probably just, like, a huge fan of Gintama. 
and that's the problem. Because he's like too big of a fan of Gintama. Are we done? Please let us be done. This is Maeve. Emergency communication from Squaw Leader. Currently in battle with unidentified giant creatures. Squaw 4 and 6 are down. I've never seen a bug like this. Ah! Cyrus! <sighs> Dakuma. Be careful. <sighs> Did they just de they death flag so hard? Has been lost. Aggressor signal on the radar. An oh, unknown enemy bitch. has entered the area. Oh. What, what the? Be careful. Squall fought this new enemy. To no avail. Whoa! It's rolling this way. Come on. Hey, hold up. Reinforcements! Captain, more I've... enemies! There's more? I brought the right gun. You're telling me a human can move like that? That protected That's target's gonna be destroyed! I just have to be very careful not to hit it myself. I can get at the wrist. These bastards are really pissing me off. Yeah. We're near defeat. These guys have a distinct desire to kill. These aren't bugs. They're monsters. Is it me? Or do they kind of resemble? Yeah, we've seen something like them. Please be the end of them. It is so close to death. I will gladly fight more of these things, just not when I have to defend this shit. I am not a big... Is everyone all right? <sighs> yeah. Somehow. Somehow they're They're not even that hard. From HQ. Raznid has appeared off the Pacific Ocean. <sighs> Raznid? That mega giant creature? No. You... I knew but something I felt off about this. Oh, is Raznid just spawning these things? That makes sense, actually. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Because, yeah, they're like, we've seen this before. And I'm like, have we? The answer is yes, actually. We have. Whew. That was... That was tighter than I wanted it to be. I really do not like escort and or defend missions. Especially one where I can friendly fire... Ones where I can friendly fire it. Universal News Network. Earlier today, the mega giant aggressor creature known as Raznid appeared off the coast of California. Raznid appeared with the Hivecraft two weeks ago in California, but was thought to be dead, as it had sunk into the ocean along with the Hivecraft, thanks to the EDF. But it seems to have survived the attacks. In response, EDF Marines are forming a fleet of battleships to take down Raznid as early as tomorrow. Universal News Network, signing off. That monster was alive. Yeah, looks like it. Squad leader, aren't you scared? Of course I am, but I'm here to fight. I turned my back on my parents by enlisting here. Fighting's all I got left. Okay, so we just got a new laser rifle, which are by far my favorite weapons in the game so far. It's also called the Mega Prototype, Yo, so... Penetrates through enemies. So the main problem is the range sucks balls. But it is obscenely good. Maybe. So. 
So. Yeah, sword and shield. So this is a a really I mean it's effectively the uh it's the uh Ghostbuster laser. It looks fun. I want to try it. But we've got that dual battle. So question is mission 33 dual battle truffle state ahead due east from the start. Fly past the debris towards the two standing tires in the background on the sand near the boundary of the map. Okay. So, how do we do this? It looks like there are... There are those. So we want to do... Let's do Heavy Striker. I need something with some range. I really like the, the Elizabeth, actually. The fire range is just not great, though. Four second lock on time. So effectively does a buttload of damage. Can only be used against the largest of targets. So we got the Sky Roomba RE. Yeah, so it's this gun, but even better. Man, I can't wait until we're making 200,000 credits per round so I can actually start buying some of these and abusing them. So most of these I think are going to be too short. There is the Assault Chaser, but the range on that is garbage. DD Etherite. Rechargeability. Multiple, multiple plasma shots at once. Explode on impacts. Huh. So how much damage does the Anger do? 375, that's why I like it so much. 20 meter, too. Because this is 12 meters, it's not bad. But honestly, what I really need is probably one of the more, like, power punchy rail guns. Penetrates through enemies. Because, yeah, I could pick up the arabesque. It's 500 firing range. It does not fire fast. What else do we have? Anything else with that level of range? Or damage? Because we've got these almost about the same. Oh, but this is the one that has the bouncing bullets. So you try the Soul Seeker. Uh, no, the Soul Seeker is really short range. I mean, the alternative is I could actually just grab the Hubble. Let's just do that. We've already got the Hubble. I want to see what the Hubble does against uh one of the one of the ships. Because scattershot bouncing bullets are great. But I, I need a gun specifically to take out the, uh, the summoning ships, the drop craft. So what's the Chandra satellite weapon? That is the sky beam. So I effectively am just going to melt ships from on high and hopefully we can get multiple in one go. And the laser will just kind of sweep through the field and hopefully kill a bunch of things. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Uh, and worst comes worst, my five shot thing should be able to hit maybe one or two of them if I'm just HQ has directly below them. The new giant creatures are a juvenile form of Rasnid, and has named them larvae. Dr. Mangle is performing research. We see a large number of Rasnid larvae in this area. Please exterminate them. So this is what closer is capable of. Yeah, that's out of range. Okay, so I gotta look this one up. We're on mission 33, dual battle.
Oh. Navy is also engaging in mid-range Those two. attacks against the Razna that appeared off the Pacific. I will broadcast the communications. Destroyer Bradford has fired the supersonic missile Eclair. A special order from the France branch. It won't leave a particle behind. 20 miles to target. 15? 10? 2 miles? What the? Did we get it? No, oh, satellite target is firing. firing. It messed up. Prepare second strike now. Graham and Maynard have both fired at Calaire missiles. Uh, distance, 16 miles. Hit! It's... No good! Target has not been damaged. What happened? I'm not sure, other than... It had no effect. Ugh. An Eclair direct hit. And nothing? Well, it killed one of them. One of the two. It's very effective, but still. Also, thank you, Winter Rose, for the three month free sub. Thank you so much. From this distance. Heat source approaching. No. What happened? Signals from the three destroyers. All lost. No way. I don't think I'm capable of hitting that conventionally, unfortunately. Nice part is, because of the, uh... Limitations on this. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this one to uh, go again. Oop. It's bad news about the Elizabeth. Like, we might straight up be screwed here. Okay, let's just end this mission. I like the Elizabeth, but it reloads so slowly that it's not worth it. Is this on PC? Not yet. I wish it was. Okay, so the space laser does crazy damage, but it does not... It does not move far enough, or fast enough, or whatever. Like, if I had a bunch of them really close together, awesome, but no. I'll deliver anything with a single click. So let's go... I do have a couple of sniper rifles. I got this one. That reloads so painfully slowly. We might have one or two, like, rocket launchers that do a ton of damage. But most of them seem to be really short range. So honestly, let's let's just get one hell of a rail gun. I was looking at the arabesque, right? Yeah, let's awesome grab the arabesque. Choice. Ooh, that cost me most of my red. I will have to keep that in mind. Okay, we want to go back to laser rifles. I'm just going to go with the Abigail. It is just too reliable. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see. Surprise Wonder didn't stick with the full auto sniper rifles that were good. Uh, eh, they were okay. I liked them, but compared to my laser rifles and some of the other ones, they, they're in a great sweet spot if I was playing multiplayer. Or, yeah, I guess kept using the grenade launcher, but I'm trying really hard not to use that grenade launcher anymore. That's my main problem. that the new giant creatures are a juvenile form of Rasnid. And his name's some larvae. Dr. Mengel is performing research. We see a large number of Rasnid larvae in this area. Please exterminate them. That's pretty cool. Seriously, I don't know who sees this game and calls this, like, a pale imitation of the EDF games. Okay, 
It won't leave a particle behind. 20 miles to target. 15? 10? Nice 2 miles? Shot. What the? Did we get it? No. Target remains. It missed? Prepare second strike now. Wow. Both fired at Hilaire missiles. Uh, distance 16 miles. Hit! Hit! No good. Target has not been damaged. What happened? I'm not sure, other than it had no effect. Ugh. Not a clear direct hit. Nothing? Wow. Uh, Picking up a huge energy signal from the target. What? From this distance? Heat source approaching. Evade! It's too fast! No! Liz, what happened? Signal from the three destroyers. All lost. No way. Recharging energy. So, we have a couple of guns that do obscene amounts of damage here. That wrecked him. Okay. So the giant robots are great for farming yellow, unfortunately. Let's see, we can kill the route. Revenant larva. How many more spawn ships do we have? One or two? Hopefully just one. Because I might just leave that one alive when we go get that drone. But yeah, this railgun is stupid strong. Like, obviously not useful against rank and file. But if you want to, like... If you want to slam a jam anything down from a decent range, it is your gun. Okay, so I see one spawn ship... Two spawn ships. That will not stand. There we go. Oh, hello. I know why. I know why Closer never speaks. Because everybody is always fawning over him and he's deeply uncomfortable. Deeply uncomfortable with it. Like, Closer just wants people to like Closer. Captain Anime just wants people to like Captain Anime for who he is. And it's like, to some degree, what he does. But like, you know, he doesn't want that to be what defines him. <laughs> I love the ragdolls. All right, let's go. Let's go get that drone. Uh, let's see. But, so like I was saying, Closer, Closer Captain Anime, you know, he, he's he got that, like, classic harem protagonist, like, effect. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have seen, like, harem anime or games or whatever where, like, the, the main character ends up just inundated with chicks and some dudes and whatever. And, like, it's honestly not great. It always just feels really tacky and, like, uncomfortable to watch. Wow, this drone tried riding a bicycle, or it tried fueling the bicycle, and it exploded in the process. That is impressive. Yeah, I like these, I like these railguns. I think I'm gonna have to use them. They've got, they have got some oomph for a lot of reasons. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so... So, he's got the classic harem protagonist curse, uh, or blessing, whatever you want to call it, and he really does not like it. Like, it makes him deeply uncomfortable the way people are, like, just almost unnaturally attracted to him. Because he knows it's wrong. He knows, he knows it's, like, the magic talking, and it's not actually, like, it's not actually him that they like. It's just that they've been forced into liking him because he has maximum protagonist powers. 
despite having no personality whatsoever. Like, he knows he has no personality. And he's, like, trying to improve himself. But, like, there's only so much you can do when, like, nobody is willing to talk to you like a regular human being. Did they kill the dropship? Oh, shit. I should probably ignore that then. My allies actually killed a dropship. When does that happen? Wow, we are leaving this with a lot of yellow. I really wish I could actually spend some of my credits to buy red stuff. Oh, let's see. So Renton Thurston from Yuka 7. Yeah, kinda. Alright, let's kill it. And so yeah. He knows that if he opens his mouth, people are actually gonna fall in love with him. So his solution was to become the pure silent protagonist because he knows a message from HQ Rasnid seems to be Three, heading to the shoreline two, where it first appeared one. the EDF has decided to gather all North American forces on the shoreline to launch a full-on attack against it Roger that's impressive how Wander can come up with all this while doing the menial work of collecting space rocks. Ever consider throwing your ideas into audio to text converter? I actually want to I haven't had the time lately and I also really like just quietly sitting and reading um, but I could. Someday when I have more free time, I'd like to effectively sit my butt in this chair and r read a book out loud. And by read a book, I mean like narrate my own book out loud. Just kind of sit there more or less dictating what it would be and then I go back through and edit it all. The thing is I'd have to like sit down and really teach myself. Ooh. Uh, sniper rifle, photon, photon supplier, Helios, and we also got an energy thrower, the BL Hastings. Wait, I gotta go look at the Hastings. Uh, Yo, let's see. What you looking for? Whoa, okay. So, that's pretty good. It freezes enemies for a medium amount of time. Doesn't set them on fire. It's got decent range. Doesn't take long to re relard, ha uh, relard, reload, but also has the recharge. Yeah, I combined recharge and reload together, and so we ended up with relard. Uh, but yeah, decent, decent range, and freezes enemies. <laughs> I want that gun. Uh, let's take a look at the sniper rifle too. Not that it matters too much. Sigma sphere. Yeah, at some point, I'll buy these. I just I have so little money that I can't. So, effectively a rail gun. It's like a rail laser situation. But yeah, it is a, it is a long range beam sniper. That actually does a shit ton of damage, I'm looking at it. Because it's 12 shots per second and 118 damage. And it can shoot for just shy of, just a little over 4 seconds. Still, compared to my railgun, my railgun currently does that amount of damage, uh, but without the reload time, so I'm going to be happy with what I got. We want the Abigail, though. No. Let's let's switch away the... switch out of the Abigail. I'm going to switch back to the Catalunica. Catalanica? Something like that. I don't know. I can't pronounce these. Okay. Desperate Stand. 34. 34. Uh, let's see. Go to the far left corner of the beach and look for a small umbrella near the rocks. Drones under the red umbrella. Gotcha. Okay, but yeah, I want to do dual freeze throwers if I can. 